So now we are going to look at how we can run experiments in the world of sports. So when you imagine that we've got a basketball court. And here's our player. Get on a headband. And he's about to take a free throw shot. However, as often happens in the competitive game of basketball, there is a fan behind the basketball court or behind the, um, the net. And he's shouting. And he's shouting whatever he can in order to distract our basketball player. And so the question is, does the distraction affect our player's ability to make free throw shots? So let's formulate two hypotheses for this. And we'll talk about how we run the experiment. So um, null hypothesis is always that ability doesn't change. So your ability to make free throws is the same with and without distractions. Okay. The alternative hypothesis is that your ability is greater without distractions. We think that the distractions will harm your ability. Okay. So here's how we do this. We take uh, um, a bunch of shots that you're going to take and we separate them into two sh uh, treatments. One is to shoot without distractions and the other is to shoot with distractions. Now, in the case of this experiment, because it's you that we want to know whether uh, distractions affect you, you will do both. Okay, And that's different than the orange experiment, where you either got the orange or you got the uh, not orange. And so since you're doing both, both, we say that these two treatments are matched. It's called a matched pairs experiment. Okay, and a lot of sports experiments are matched pairs. Now with that in mind, let's go through the parts of the experiment. Start with the response variable. Our, what we're going to respond with is how good you are at shooting. So we'll say your shooting percentage. The explanatory variable is going to be what explains the shooting percentage, and in this case it's that right there. It's uh, whether distractions are present. We need to randomize the shots in this experiment. And so let's suppose that there are going to be 50 attempts, or in other words, you're going to take 50 free throws. Um, here's what we can't do. We can't do distraction first, and then no distraction second. And the reason that we can't do that is simply that, you know, what if you learn something? What if your shooting gets better as you go along? 
then that's going to unfairly benefit these shots. What we would do instead is we would um, you know, use some sort of randomizing procedure, like flip a coin, to choose 25 of the 50 attempts to have distraction. We also need to control, so think about things that would need to be consistent in this case. One is that we would need to always stand in the same place. Okay, same kind of distraction. Uh, we'll leave it right there, but there's probably more of those to think about. Okay.